Hello and welcome to this harmonic analysis and personal interpretation of the implied polyphony in the first part, or the A section, of the Allemande of the B minor violin partita, number one of Johann Sebastian Bach. This is a very interesting piece for me because Bach almost constantly, almost systematically implies three distinct melodic lines at once, simultaneously. First, I'll play some bars of the original violin music, a little bit slowly, and I will sustain some notes to, um, to make the polyphony or the implied polyphony more clear. Then I will return to the uh, harmonic reduction where you can see uh, the different voices or my personal interpretation, of course, of these uh, multiple voices. We start in B minor. This is the tonic, the first degree. Here we go. We start in three voices on the first degree. We sustain the B in the bass. We go to the fourth degree in the upper voices. Then we go to the fifth degree. Feel the friction. I tend to sustain the F sharp in the upper voice, the red voice, and it will go to the E in the second bar. Back to B minor, seventh. Resolution in the E. Back to the fifth dominant degree. Notice that in the second measure, the G and the bass is the third built on E minor because the suspended F sharp from the first measure gets a resolution in the E. So this is the E minor chord first inversion. And here you can see Bach uses only two voices. The descending scale back to the first degree. The middle voice that disappears in the second measure will return in the third measure. Third measure. I will sustain the D in red and the B in the bass.
Third measure, B minor. Then Bach modulates for the first time to a neighbor major scale, the F. Here, in the bass, is the third of the D major chord. This is the ground. D major, moving to G major. We hear the F sharp, in the upper voice, sustains. Here we get the dominance. And then take a good look, a good listen at the bass at the end of measure four. I will sustain this G because this G this G will resolve in the D sharp in middle of bar four. If you listen carefully, only the bass, the end of four. Sustains, measure five. Resolution in measure six in the E. So harmonically, from bar four, we got this. to D, and we sustain the G, we move to A major, the dominance in D, and we can hear almost a uh, This is not written by Bach, but you can hear this C natural. Resolution to the E minor in bar six. Bar six in E minor. This is the fourth degree of B minor. Here we are full of suspensions. There is a lot of suspensions here. If we move to bar six, again, the E, the four degree in the bass, the upper voice, the G, and the B in the middle voice, moving via the seventh to the fifth, notice the D in the bass, we will suspend this note too, over the bar seven. And then, in my harmonic reduction, I will 
play it like this. In bar seven, Bach writes this. But with a little imagination, we can write it like this. It sounds like this. This is the end of seven, the first degree B minor again, moving to the dominance. F sharp major. This is the pedal and the dominance. Bar eight, the pedal on the dominance. Bar eight. Leading tone, resolving in B minor, first degree, but with a prolongation. And then a modulation. This is a secondary dominance. This is a secondary dominance to the F minor, the fifth degree. So we got the modulation to the fifth degree, but then Bach returns to the first degree and bar 10. Harmonically in measure 10, this gives us the leading tone E sharp leading to the F, but in the middle voice going back to the E natural. Got the modulation back to the first degree. Again, a modulation back to the fifth degree. F minor. Notice that at the end of bar 11, there is the new dominance of 
C sharp major, and I add this um, middle voice, this E sharp, as a leading tone to the new uh, first degree. But Bach doesn't write that note because it's physically impossible to play that on the violin, but it is implied. The first part ends in bar 12 with a little coda. Harmonically, this is And then the first A section is repeated in B minor. And so on. This was the analysis of the first part of the A section of this beautiful complex Allemand of the first violin partita. If you have some questions, some comments, please, there is a comment section, let me know. If you like the video, please subscribe, the news, or contact me anytime. See you soon. Bye-bye.